$225 million. That's how much the Muskoka and surrounding community will be expected to put towards two new hospital sites in Muskoka under the local share option. The local share for a build like this is 30% of the cost as ordered by the province, which will put in the other 70% of the cost. Maureen Miller, chair of the Muskoka Algonquin Healthcare Board, says the board will look to get a submission in by September of next year. We, we would like very much to have our submission go in a couple of months early to uh, demonstrate our commitment to having two new hospitals in Muskoka. And we believe that getting in, in a little bit earlier gives us a better position for the ministry to review and approve our submission quickly and efficiently. When we make our submission at the end of our stage 1.3 uh, planning to the to province at the sometime between September and December of 2023, if we have not uh, detailed out how the local share will be raised, our project will not move forward. Meanwhile, this does come down to the need for partners like municipalities to commit to this new cost with promises to put their own funds in. Huntsville Mayor Nancy Alcock says there is support around the municipal table for this idea. It's, it's remarkable how resilient we are when we know that we're working towards the same goal and the, the goal is that we have the best health care in our communities. For Huntsville, that's absolutely critical. So um, we're ready. We're ready to um, step up and figure out how we're going to do it. Alcock says staff are already preparing reports for the upcoming budgetary talks in January, and there's no need to be immediately alarmed that the cost of these hospitals will end up on your tax bill. We're looking at the whole array of, of possibilities as far as how we contribute to our local share. And so it's not all on the tax levy. I know even the discussion of it going on the tax levy, a special a special um, levy, um, that's, that will be one of many different options that we'll be looking at. And Miller says it's not all on municipalities, with the two hospital foundations lending a hand and properties like the current Fairburn site likely being sold off once the new facility is open. So the assets of Muskoka Algonquin Healthcare regarding some of the facilities we have now that may be replaced or uh, become not functional in the future, those are all part, of, part and parcel of how uh, MAC will be able to contribute to local share.